All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative and take it one day at a time. Most definitely, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoons, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us, who has grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son died for our sins. There's so much things the Lord's done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever. Ever. Amen. Always keep him first. Always worship him. Always praise him. Thank him. Trust him through everything in your situation. Amen. Praise him, y'all. Most definitely. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and support. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, comfort each other, support each other. All those great, amazing things, people. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Most definitely. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and mysteries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship and the services. Much love to the previous martyrs, current martyrs and future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are going through it for his namesake, who are being persecuted for the faith. Stay strong, encouraged, steadfast and firm. Amen. Much love to the great tribulation of saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted and Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts, all the brand new creatures in Christ. Anyone who just became a believer, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you. Anyone who just repented, God bless you as well. Much love to all the new creatures in Christ who have a new life, a new beginning for sure. And if you didn't repent, get baptized, repent and get baptized ASAP. Amen. Hallelujah. Greetings, family. Shalom, everyone. Most definitely welcome everyone. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise Him. Rejoice, always rejoice. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, cry to Him, dance, express yourself, play an instrument. Do what you got to do for the Most High. He is always watching us, so always serve Him with gladness and joy, and always worship in spirit and truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let's be alert, sober, vigilant watchful prayed up washed by the water by the word the washing of the water through the word let us keep our lamps and our oils let us stand our purpose of calling for the most high let the lord keep revealing himself to us more often through dreams vision encounters and various ways of communications let's constantly seek his face people most definitely let's obey the gospel obey the law such commandments obey all of god's word anything the most high has told you personally according to your life your calling your purpose your situation your gifts handle that people all right keep the faith keep the the law, such commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, keep the word of God, keep the faith, keep the testimony of the Messiah, keep all those things together. Amen. Most definitely take it one day at a time, y'all. Okay. Stay strong out there. Okay. Take it one day at a time. Now, today's message, what I would love to do is go through today's Bible reading, go through the recommended reading scriptures as well, and also go through the commentary. And then from there, we will close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing, and we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. Praise Him, people. Always draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Amen.
Today's Bible reading is the book of Daniel, chapter 3, in its whole entirety, verses 1 through 30. The recommended reading scriptures is the book of Daniel, chapter 6, in its whole entirety, verses 1 through 28. The book of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 47 through 56. And also the book of Acts, chapter 4, verses 13 through 22. The title of this commentary is Civil Disobedience. Across the centuries, when the leader of a nation has enforced an unjust law, most of those in power have in certain situations willingly conformed, but a few have consens- consciously resisted without using violence or aggression. Although they have tended to suffer accusations and attacks by people who, for one reason or another, have hated them or the group they represented, in the end their cause has frequently prevailed. Although you might suspect that this scenario refers specifically to the situation in the United States in the 50s and 60s, we're actually talking here about ancient Babylon. King Nebuchadnezzar created a monstrous image and commanded all men to worship it in order to demonstrate their allegiance to the king above all others. However, those who worship the true God wouldn't bow bow down to the other gods. So when three Israelite men, three faithful Israelite men refused to worship the idol, others noticed their disobedience. The ethnicity of the three men immediately became an issue. After they had refused a second time to bow down to the idol, the king angrily ordered the three men thrown into a fiery furnace. However, their God miraculously delivered them, prompting the king himself to describe their faith in the Lord. They trusted in him and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve other, serve or worship any other God except their own God. Verse 28, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who knew a much higher authority than Nebuchadnezzar, stood against injustice even when it meant putting their lives at stake. Astonishingly, astonishingly, the king was able to distinguish a fourth man in the furnace with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Many scholars and commentators believe that the Messiah himself joined these faithful Israelite men in the heat. Later, the Messiah would die at the hands of evil men who were abusing their God-given authority. Still, he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. The Messiah was vindicated as were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, further evidence that God acts to rescue those who place their trust in him. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. When is it appropriate for believers to disobey civil authorities? Under what circumstance are we to submit to government leaders? What do you think of the following statement? The Lord either saves us from our troubles or he stands with us through the trials. In what ways have you found this statement to be true in your own life? Amen. People stand up for their faith. Let us not give in to any of the wicked rulers in today's society. Okay. So we're going to be firm in the faith, firm in our belief in God. Amen. So do not conform. Do not uh, denounce the faith. Okay. Keep the faith. Amen. People stay strong and bold out there. Hallelujah. That is the commentary. All right. What I love to do is I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is God of the Hebrews, God of Jeshurun. He is the God of Noah, Job and Daniel. Praise the most high. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us, y'all. He loves us dearly, so let's love him back by obeying his commandments. Praise him. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate. Praise the most high, the almighty, true, living God. God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, Wonderful Counselor, the Creator, the Dayspring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting Father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, the I am, who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah. 
Jehovah, Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings, the Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna of the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my shield, my buckler, my strength, my praise, my song, my salvation, my redeemer, my helper, my provider, praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, Ahai Yashai, Yeshua Hamashiach, Baraka Fa, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai Yashaya, Adonai, Abba, he is the consuming fire. He is the father of lights, the father of the heavenly, father of the heavenly lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the widows, the father of mercies. He is the father of widows. Praise him. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician can heal all things. He's the carpenter can fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days. The rest on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him. He'll show you great, mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart. You will find him. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust in him. Know he could do for you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders. Most definitely touch and agree. Abide in him. Ask him what you need. His son's name it shall be given to you. Most definitely. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. One. We know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be on our lives forever. Most definitely praise him. Your faith has made you well. Your faith has saved you. Your faith has blessed you. Your faith is how you overcome the world. The just shall live by faith. You walk by faith and not by sight. Praise him. He got us, y'all. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrected the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone of builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the the truth amen he is the way hallelujah he is the way truth and life praise him the wisdom of god the witness the wonderful counselor the word the word of god the word of life the word of yahuwah the word of elohim the word made flesh the living word praise him we know that his word is pure, fine, silver, just as David said in the Psalms. We know that every word of God is true, pure, and flawless, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his word is a double-edged sword, as the book of Hebrews says. Amen. He is the everlasting king. He is the high priest of the order of Melchizedek. He is the sinless high priest. He is the way everlasting. Most definitely circumcise your hearts. Forgive everyone so the Father can forgive you. Let's be blameless before the Lord our God. Amen. Prayers up for all the poor people, prayers up for all the widows, prayers up for all the orphans, the fatherless, prayers up for the tribe of Levi, prayers up for uh, all the elders, all the babies, all the children, the men, the women, single people, married people, widowed people, divorced people, separated people, prayers up for all people, all walks of life most definitely. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, we forgive our debt doors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I shall bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakathah. Abjarvis Kingston, I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.